Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and I just got done doing a video on how to connect a, the um, Turnigy Evolution to the Hobby Wing stack that you can see here on the bench. Right, and I had all this set up. Sorry for the wires and stuff. We were just doing this uh, to get it going. Uh, but I was also asked recently about how to connect the uh, uh, RXSR. I do see a lot of people having a problem with this, and I think the confusion comes in between two things. One, the color scheme of the wiring. And the second being that you can change this from SBUS to CPPM and you have to make sure that you've got it in the right mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open the uh, manual for you here and we're gonna look at this together and we're gonna do it like this, okay? So one of the things that I want you to see is gonna be right here, <clears throat> one of the most important things. So here's the, um, here's the layout, right? And this is basically laid out exactly how it is in the manual, okay? And so we're gonna look at the wire colors real quick. So ground obviously is gonna be the black wire and the five volts is gonna be the red wire. Now that part's normal so far, right? Okay, what you have to do next is you have to remember that unless you're running S-port, go ahead and leave this yellow wire out. You're not gonna be using it. What you're gonna be focusing on is the green wire. The green wire is the one that you're gonna connect into your S-bus port on your flight controller. I see way too many people putting their S-port into there instead and, and doing the firmware upgrades and doing all that so you can run S-port on it and, and run F-port and blah, 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 blah. Look. You want to get it to work right from the beginning and you want to run s bus and you're not going to be using the s port at all then go ahead and just take your green wire and that's what you're going to solder so we're going to do that very quickly i'm going to show you how it's done it should take all of two seconds to knock out okay so let me go ahead and turn this on and this is just for reference so you know exactly what colors you should be looking at when you're trying to connect yours so let me get the soldering iron out and i can go ahead and take this off here real quick and i do not have a receiver ready but i am just going to tell you that i do 100 of these uh, a week so just Trust me when I tell you that this is how you're gonna wire it. Oop, I gave you the wrong camera, my apologies. Uh, let's take this one and go over here and we'll just zoom in and I'm just gonna show you how this is done real quick, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take out the um, evolution receiver. So let's go ahead and knock that out. And to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit this thing real quickly and pull the wire out. So there's one and there's two and there's three. Now, to do the RXSR, I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna take my black wire, make sure I'm on camera here, so let me kind of zoom out a little bit. All right, and we're gonna just basically replace them in the same spots. So your black is gonna be your ground. Let's go ahead and just hit that real quick. So one, oops, sorry, I am not getting a good grip here. There we go, one. Then we'll go with our five volt, which is our red. And that's two. Okay, and then we're gonna go with our green wire, which is our S-Bus cable. Again, it's not gonna be the yellow or the white, so do not use those for this. And there you go, you've just now wired S-Bus. Now, let me show you one last thing, just so that we can be clear about this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power up, and I'm gonna do this from the top camera, so bear with me a second. And we will go this route, there we go. And I just wanna show you something, okay? So I'm gonna grab the DC power here. I'm gonna attach it to the board real quick. And I'm gonna power this up for you because I want you to notice something, okay? Now, for those of you that are running this receiver, when you power it up, you're gonna see that there's your blue light, right? That blue light means you're in S-Bus mode. If you hold your bind button down and you wait five seconds, or so, see it blinking? Now you're in CPPM mode. Hold it for another five seconds. Sorry, right, my finger slipped. Hold it for another five seconds and let go. And you'll see it blink and it's back to blue. Now you're in S-Bus mode again. Make sure you check, all right? Make sure that you check and make sure that you have that blue light on. If you don't have that blue light on, you won't get S-Bus to work. You'll be in CPPM mode, okay? So again, hold it down for five seconds, for five let go well maybe my count is too quick one two three four whatever it blinks turns off cppm five seconds one two three four five let go it blinks turns back on s bus all right all right guys so i hope that helps guys that was a very quick video but you're in s bus mode then this seems to be giving people a lot of problems uh, just because of those two features that are on there. So just pay attention to those two things. Green wire, red wire, black wire, that's S-Bus. And make sure you have the blue light on and you're in S-Bus mode. All right, take care, guys. If you need anything, always let me know, cyclonefpv.com. And uh, if not, have a great day. And we will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Peace. Bye.